Hi, I'm Brad from Burnley College and today we're going to be looking at what happens to your body when you exercise. So does anybody know what we need to do before we take part in exercise? Leo. Yeah. Warm up. Warm up, that's right. So we're going to get warm but while we're getting warm, what I want you to do is think about what changes are happening inside your body or outside of your body. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. The first thing that I want you to do is get yourself a space inside the square that you've just put together. Let's go. Touch your knees. Touch your ears. Touch your mouth. Just want you to jog nice and easy, making sure that you're staying inside the square. Got that? Yes. Are we moving around? I kind of change legs while you're big spring up in the air. Big spring. Right, we're going to make it a little bit more competitive now. So we've got four different coloured pairs of socks. When I shout a colour out, you've got to find that coloured pair of socks. You've got to move to it as quickly as you can. The first person to get there is the winner. White! Keep going! Well done, Jacob. Well. Right, so now we're going to have a game of Tails. Has anybody played Tails before? No. Yes. So, to play Tails, you've got two pairs of socks one is your base so over here with Jacob Jacob's the white base and he's got another pair of socks split into two that are white he's going to take one of those socks and he's going to put it in the back of his shorts as a little tail object of the game is to protect your tail but get somebody else's tail out the back of their pants after you've got somebody's tail you've got to take that tail back to your base and go and try and get somebody else. If yours gets taken out, go back to your base and you've got an extra life. Let's go. <laughs> so before we start this warm up, we were thinking about what kind of changes were happening to us bodies while we're doing that warm up. So has anybody got any ideas? What was happening to you, Leo? My heart was beating faster. Jacob? I was breathing a lot more. That's right. So when you're doing your warm up, your heart's beating faster and you're starting to breathe a little bit more. And that's because we need to transport the oxygen. So we're breathing the oxygen in to his lungs and then we're having to transport that using his heart to his muscles to keep his muscles going. Does anybody feel the muscles tiring a little bit towards the end as well? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So we need to keep supplying his muscles with oxygen so that they can create energy to keep us working throughout that warm up and obviously as exercise that we're going to be doing in the next section. Okay. Objective of the game is you've got to get your socks into the little squares, okay? Yeah. You throw in from the first sock. Yeah. You've got to get four socks yeah. into the four squares yeah. to win the game. Okay. Ready? Steady? Go! Nice and easy. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Has anybody played noughts and crosses before? Yes. So you've got all these different squares that you've got to try and get your socks into. You've got to make three in a line. Up, across or diagonal, up to you. Okay, but we're looking at making sure you're throwing skills really good. Got it? Okay. Right, let's go. That's one, two, In that last activity, what kind of things were happening to your body when we were starting to work a little bit harder after the warm up? What were happening to what were happening to you, Ethan? My armpits started getting sweaty and sticky. Your armpits were getting proper sweaty, were they? 
What what else? What what were happening to you, Leo? I got very hot and sweaty. Hot and sweaty? Yeah. Jacob? My cheeks went really red. Right. Reason behind that is, so when we were talking at the start about that oxygen going to his muscles in order to keep his muscles moving, when we when his muscles move they create heat in his bodies. So that heat, when we start to get warm, has got to go somewhere because we can't keep it inside his bodies because his bodies are going to get really hot and it's going to cause us some damage. So we need to let that heat off. So what your blood does is it brings it closer to the surface of your skin. So when it brings it to the surface of your skin, what, what colour do you think your cheeks will go? Red. Red, that's right, yeah. So when it brings the blood to the surface of your skin, your cheeks will go red. Will they feel warm, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, they'll start you face will start to feel warm your body will start to feel a lot warm and then we'll start to release that heat to get it out of his bodies okay and you were saying that you got sweaty didn't you Ethan yeah that's because we've got all your sweat comes to the surface of your skin and that sweat on the surface of your skin evaporates just like the puddles start to evaporate when after it's rained the same thing will happen on your skin your sweat evaporates on the surface of your skin and that'll cool the surface of your skin down so it stops you from overheating excellent so have you all had fun today yes brilliant well done let's go